final straight. Irfan on the answer. Throws on the inside. Irfan is out. And Mohamed Fadl. Long delay. The lights are off. And Mohamed Fadli gets off to a solid start from P4. He's got himself up into a, a decent position. Just keeping himself out of danger. The green livery of the Kawasaki. Nicely into position number five. He'll be happy with that solid start. It gets, get, just gets him out of danger. Yeah, it was a good start. Good start for AP uh, Honda Thailand as well. There's three bikes up there right in that front group. Abun Sanjaya just back a little bit there, but Rafa Topin heads down into that uh, turn three. But it's McLarder up the inside, making her intentions uh, early. More velocity down the, the main straight for Pier 1. We've got two riders out. Out there is, uh, who are we down there? Well, Seven cases, yeah. Idol Fitri Mahadi. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's got a bit of an issue there too. That hopefully they can um, get him uh, from underneath his bike. I think his leg's caught under his bike there. So let's hopefully they get him and uh, he can climb it. So good by her. There's McLada, and she's taken Ayaki Ayoshi with her. You you did mention Ayoshi would be somebody that you've got to get past if you're going to pick up the place. Yeah, he's uh, got work to do as Awan Sanjaya. And um, it's Busarai is up there as well. Nice. Uh, oh, oh Busarai, I think that was a bit of a moment there. McLada so, has the lead though at the end of lap one from Ayoshi Rapid Top and Lucky Henry to Tachikorn. Vorapong, Irfan Ardianta in P7, just ahead of Andy Mohamed Fadli. Andy will be very aware of interesting to see that uh, Irfan Ardianta is just being shadowed by Andy Mohamed Fadli as Ayoshi. Chases the leading group, uh, chasing McLada Sarapwetch. Rafi Topam is in that group, as is Piawat and Tachikorn. Tachikorn Wazri. Good move up the inside there by Rafi Topin if he falls out of the top 15. Well, there he is in coming through in P7, Andy Mohamed Fadli, the current championship leader. Uh, lucky Henry answer. Owen Sanjaya's got himself up into P9, and Owen Sanjaya, good for him. He's, he's uh, got himself into a decent position. Pretty impressive lap time by her. She's just gone through 0.5 quicker than the next quickest guy. 53.6 she's done. Put that into perspective. Uh, the hole was uh, 53.2. So she's almost down to qualifying times here. Okay, we're focusing on bikes uh, 16, 1, uh, 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 108, Andy Mohamed Fadli, and also who's joined that for the victory. But that's going to be pretty hard because McLada is gone. Look at her. She's way up the road. The lead as McLada goes over the line from uh, second place, Irfan Ardianta, is 2.6 seconds. She's put together a 53-347. Now that's seven tenths quicker there into P3. Rapid top one is there. Andy Mohamed Fadli indeed has got ahead of Ayoshi. Stuck the two of them, but Andy Mohamed Fadli has done really well as they go round corner number four. Oh no! Lada's engine has no. blown! Can you believe that is, uh, from, from my memory, she's had three or four DNFs in the last five here now. She's had a flat tyre, she's had two engine problems, I think a chain come off once, and now this. Can you believe this? Nope, she can't. Well, it's another DNF. She's always a story, McLada Sarapwetch. But the smoking exhaust tells its own tale. And yeah. she is desolate in front of her own fans. So she can't oh, no! Who is it? That's, I think, is it is, I think it's Akiyoshi. Oh, it's Akiyoshi. It's Akiyoshi. Just uh, with the Arai helmet. Uh, yeah, well, the number 37 the machine. There you thought it was Andy Mohamed Fadli. Imagine being Fujiwara. He wouldn't have been too happy, but... Uh, all good, number 108, Andy Fadley still going, and Akiyoshi can get up and play another day. So Irfan Ardianta leads the way, Lucky Henry Anta is second, Andy Mohamed Fadley is third, Armin Sanjay has got himself up into P7, bike 198, the race events at this particular Buram circuit, he's, he's in one of the uh, support races that are going. Where he is at the moment, just getting slipstream there, just on the outside, goes Cal Vietnam, Probably the last thing you, that he would have wanted was Cal Vietnam to... Uh, that top five, Irfan Ardianta, the same, needs to win again. Andy Fadley outside the... But four people are out, including McLeod and Sarapetsch. There is Cal Vietnam. No, he's obviously got some sort of mechanical problem, Cal Vietnam. Disappointed for him. It was a great race up until that point. And I'll tell you what, he must uh, be at least... There as well, Irfan 
leads into Rafid Toppen. And Mohamed Fadli makes sure he stays out of contact. He's in P3 on the Kawasaki. Arwin Sanjaya a little bit further down. Two places down for Arwin Sanjaya. Watch Tachikorn there on the outside. Just trying to go around the outside. Can't do it. Rafid Toppen in second place. Maybe with a little bit of help from uh, Muglada. But he picked up the 25 points. That puts him in this comfortable position where the position he's in now, fifth, will be enough for him to take the title. Yeah, but it just takes one person on the inside to have a bit of a moment, and he's out. So, well, Fadley just backs off just temporarily. Arwin Sanjaya has done well. He's got himself up from P11 into position where, with three and a half laps to go, he is challenging the four tops for Bernard Yanta. Astro Honda Racing, Arwin Sanjaya. They're up against the Kawasaki of Andy Mohamed Fadley. The Kawasaki... He's on his own because Ayoshi is not there to help his mate should team orders come into play in the last laps. But Irfan Aronsaya is just doing a brilliant job out at the front. Uh, after, you know, that, uh, you know the, the race that he had yesterday, he's proved that he's good. He's got it a bit sideways into the final turn here. And Mohamed Fadley moves up into the second position now. That's a brilliant move on the inside. He braked early and had a good line coming through and a good drive coming out and beat the turn one and then onto that back straight. New leader for us is Tachikon Kwasri, the tie. We have got two and a half laps to go. He is dragging along with him, Irfan Ardianza. For Tachikon, he's the AP Honda Thailand team. So the Honda's bunching together, but uh, not exactly the teammate he wanted. There is um, Irfan Ardianza. Easy to pick out, so glad he picked that pink pink helmet. Arwin Sanjaya is also in that group. Rafid Topan in P3. Arwin Sanjaya for 92. Muzakir Mohammed on the 1XOX has got himself into a decent position. It's these other riders who can really queer the pitch for. With the others just trying to dive up the inside. But once again, you watch him into this corner. He's really good. Uh, just takes that nice tight line. Gets a good drive, bit of a slipstream there, and away he goes. Stops himself in, up into fifth. He picked up three positions there. But it is still mightily congested, and with just two laps to go, nothing is guaranteed. This championship, the AP2... As they head down that back straight into the tight turns there in the middle of the circuit. Turn five and six, we've seen plenty of action here throughout the weekend so far. Lucky Henry Anshel was pushed out wide there. Right this far into the race, do we worry about tyres at all? Conversation on the track. Irfan, he slides through. Andy Mohamed Fadli will go through in the slipstream in P3, coming into the final lap that he hopes crowns him as AP250 champion. Tachikorn from Irfan, from Andy, from Farid Topan, from Vorapong, from Muzakia. Yeah, as they go down that back straight, it is Irfan. It lose a little bit of nerve going into that left-hand corner. Irfan Ardianza, he's lost a little bit of time as well. As coming through also is 92, Mazakir Mohamed. Then Andy Mohamed Fadli into corner number four. He's into the league, goes wide. Is it a mistake? The answer is no, because he's recovered. Yeah, that was a great move, brave move. Rafa Topan right through the middle there. He's all in hard and sight. Nothing to lose. This is going to come down to the final corner. In the end, who will come out? But he's run wide. Irfan's lost more room. And the gap now is two or three bike lengths. It's going to be difficult to power break there. He's looked over his shoulder, Des. Boy, take it from here because this is going to be big. Andy Mohamed Fadley goes into the finish. Andy Mohamed Fadley raised to the fist. Six places. Good. Rode so brilliantly. Brilliant displays of riding. And today, you've got to say, there's Irfan. He went up the inside. He tried hard, but he lost that race two or three corners before. He made a small mistake. Let's have a look. There he goes. Up the inside he goes. Come from too far back sideways. But look at Rafa Topan. He came all the way through, collected the handlebar, and bang, took him out. So that was the end of that. Uh, Andy Fadley comes.